Ciao a tutti, sono Anna all'incontro stampa di Chiamami col tuo nome, dove ci sarà il regista e gli attori protagonisti, non vedo assolutamente nota. Vi riprenderò tutto, quindi spero vi piaccia. Adesso vi presento i protagonisti velocemente subito. Il primo, accogliamo per primo Ami Hammer. e il regista e produttore di questo film straordinario che è Luca Gonellino uh, yes and no, I mean the, the desire to work with Luca is what trumps everything I think at a young age these roles are really rare to come upon let alone with directors that are on tours and came back at me and said I think this movie's had to deal with pain and I think that scene has had to deal with pain and I never thought of it that way and I thought that was remarkably accurate too. That's my favorite part of the movie, it's my favorite part of the book. I found my original copy of the book uh, last week, the one I bought uh, five years ago when I first heard about the movie and the script and I was happy to see Michael Stuhlbarg's monologue. I had almost underlined every uh, line in it because that's really the most powerful part of the story to me. It's what I try to take from the experience is this idea that when we're grieving in life, when we're suffering in life, when we're heartbroken, if we're feeling shitty about it or bad about it, you're doing it the right way. To add another layer of suffering on top of that is useless and needless and pointless. Um, I just, I feel full of gratitude and, um, and I think anytime as a young artist you can have a marker of encouragement to keep going and, uh, and to have uh, people say, that the career you're pursuing in the arts is the right one is um, affirming and encouraging because I'm fresh out of drama high school in the last four or five years. I grew up in an actor's building in New York. I know what it is to, uh, whether through personal experience or those that I'm close with, those are my parents, people I grew up with, I know what it is to, uh, you know, go on one audition every 10 days and walk out of the room you're bashing your head in because you feel like you didn't do a good job. So to have any moment where people are saying, good job, it feels like the, the responsibility becomes to enjoy it. Because any actor's career is full of peaks and valleys. So when you're recognizably not in one of those valleys, you kind of have to sit back and go, okay, time to enjoy this. <laughs> 